Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Spaghetti Doodles, my very first one, hopefully more to come. Spaghetti Doodles is just my not terribly clever name that I came up with for uh, some drawing videos I wanted to make. Um, I used to make some, I used to make some drawing videos, they're on my YouTube channel, more, more like uh, video tutorials. Sort of talk about a specific technique I'd used or a piece of software. They're, they're still there, um, uh, but with these drawings, um, I, I wanted to be a little less formal. I wanted to make more of them. Tutorials are sort of labor intensive. I wanted to do something here that's a little more informal and basically just uh, grab some some process stuff. You know, something that I drew or painted or colored that I could that I could share right away. Um, and, and do a screen capture and just, you know, have the process up so people can watch if they're interested and just do a little, say a little bit about what was going on. I'm a big fan. I, I love, I love watching drawing videos. Maybe that's only, maybe that's only something that's really interested to people who draw themselves, but, um, I always love it. Uh, you know, and artists that I like go on live stream. I love to go and just watch how they carve out shapes and you know you can just learn so much about someone's process and and if you draw yourself you can sort of you can just sort of see them thinking on paper I always really enjoyed that you know sometimes I do it because geez I really I want to learn how this guy does this and you know how this girl like you know why she's awesome but um, you know a lot of times I just watch them because they're just fun to watch and they're entertaining so so I thought it would be fun to share some of my process stuff. So, so I just grabbed this is a this is a first one, and this is just a evening warm down sketch. Like I've been drawing for a little bit on some work projects, and then I just wanted to sort of just wanted to doodle and, and do something that was a little less stressful. It's kind of a stress quotient when you're working on, you know work drawings they've got to you know I mean it depends on what you're doing but but I've been doing some character designing lately and it's good work I, I you know I enjoy it but it's 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 hard it feels a little bit more like like work you know you you establish a model but then you've got to sort of you know you've got to come up with an interesting model you've got to stay on the model throughout the model sheet so you got to really you know think it through and after a while, it starts to make your brain mushy. So I like to do a warm down sketch. And uh, for this one, I just went over to uh, outcaststudios.com, which is one of the art forums I like to hang out at. And they always have a daily sketch topic. So if you, if you just want to grab something and just, just draw it, um, it's a good place to go and find a cool topic. So this is a the topic they had posted this day. It was, uh, character's name is Emily the Strange, and, and I had, I'd never heard of this character before in my life. They, you, you saw her in the video of me sort of glancing at the reference. Um, I had no idea who she was, what she was about, any of that. Um, and I did absolutely no research to discover those things, um, because... As I said, it was late at night, and I wanted to do a drawing, and honestly, this character's look really, uh, it's really, really simple, but totally, uh, totally um, describes, you know, you can look at this character and just, you know, exactly what is going on with her, sort of what this whole situation is, just by, um, just by, you know, the design of the character. You know, you could, I could immediately see that, you know, it's sort of this um, Wednesday from the Adams Family kind of vibe. Um, you know, some sort of thematic, you know, connection with cats. Um, but you could just sort of, you know, it's kind of a surreal aspect to it. And, and I'm just, like I said, I, I still, I know nothing about this character. I haven't read any of the comics or or, you know, even gone to Wikipedia, which sometimes I will do, you know, for a character sketch. So maybe if you know the character, I could totally be way off base. Maybe this is 
you know, slapstick character, and I just totally read it wrong, but it seemed like, seemed like, um, you know, I could tell what was going on here pretty quick. So I just started uh, doing some doodling. Um, saw right at the beginning of the video, and just started doing some little doodles, little, like, thumbnails on the page, and, and um, you know, it's always how I started drawing. It's just, just little stuff, and, and, I, and I'll just start drawing. A lot of times I'll just... If it's a new character, I'll just start drawing the, their face, you know, I'll just start doing like a three-quarters angle on the face, and I, and I know that I don't want to just do a, you know, a face for the final drawing, but it just gets my hand moving and thinking about the character and the sort of the way the character looks and feels, and, and as I'm going through that, I might sort of get an idea. The only real sort of idea that I came up with in, in this little sketch was, well, she, you know, she has cats, so I thought, well, I'll, Stick the cat up on the head. Anyone who, you know, anyone who lives with cats knows that cats really love to just perch somewhere where it's really annoying for, you know, anyone else. So I thought, well, there's a really annoying place for her to perch, and and that right there, that that was just the the little bit of narrative I needed to sort of carry me through this little sketch. Was all right. So the the cat has decided to sit right on her head and. And she's sort of annoyed by this, but, you know, not doing anything active about it. So it gave me a little bit of sort of an acting prompt for her and seemed in character with, you know, what I could tell of her just from, you know, the couple of reference pictures. And I just sort of went from there. Um, you know, aside from that, in the sketch, really, I'm just looking at... Uh, you know, like like always, it's um, I really I really been thinking a lot about about shape when I draw lately, trying to sort of accomplish you know everything I want with the drawing in terms of making it sort of you know visually interesting, just just through you know good use of shape. You know, thinking about the artists that I like that that really are are so good at using shape to you know describe volume. You know, I mean we. You know, that's one thing, but also just sort of, um, you know, interesting dynamic shapes that just sort of, you know, sell the picture on an abstract level, even if it, you know, didn't look like anything. So, so, you know, as I'm sketching it, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, what the, these forms are going to look like three-dimensionally, but also just trying to, you know, capture those contours in a way that has, you know, these sort of dynamic interesting shapes um, you know if you look like I'm fairly certain that a cat's head is not a not a perfect oval in real life my cat's head isn't but but um, you know it's close enough to a cat it looks like a looks like a cat I, I don't think anyone's gonna mistake it for a dog or something so, so I, you know I thought that that's gonna work you know and thought it might be interesting to see it that way um, you know, and so I just sort of blocked it out. Yeah, fairly simple. Uh, I knew right from the start I was going to use these strong blacks. Seems to be part of the character design. So, so I just sort of blocked those in in Manga Studio. It's my drawing program. And, and uh, that's pretty much it. It's obviously not a very complicated work of art or anything like that. But. So, anyway, so... That's today's drawing. I took up uh, nine minutes of your time, give or take. And uh, if you want to check out the finished sketch, it's over on my Deviant account. Uh, just look below the video, and I'll throw a link in there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll have another one for you real soon.